So tomorrow is the 90th edition of the Round the Island race, infamous, uh, with over a thousand boats registered to take part. The forecast is quite light to start with, but once a, a rain should pass through, we should get some breeze that will at least get us round the island. Um, but it won't be a year for records to be broken, I doubt, and I suspect It'll be a year for a small, light, slow boat to uh, probably be victorious in the end. We're racing double-handed and we're starting at 7.10. We're prepping the boat today, looking at the tides and the weather. And uh, we're based in Hamble, so we're actually going to wake up super early and travel over for the start tomorrow morning. We've rigged all the sheets. Our J1's ready to go. We've even plugged in the Code Zero. Main sail is now on. Sails we don't want are off. And now it's time to go look at the weather and the tides and have a final read of the sailing instructions. 5.30 in the morning and the procession to the start line. So squadron line is ahead of us, there's been the green flag start and they had an individual recall. We haven't seen anybody come back, how they're meant to know they were over, it's a little bit beyond me. We start just off cows and we have tied with us for this first section out of the Solent. We have now been racing 10 minutes, a little slow out the blocks, um, didn't get the best start but we've now got proper breeze and feel like we're able to sail properly now. So now's our time to make our way back through the fleet towards the front. That would be nice. boats exiting at the solar and tacking and he's becoming like a magnet to us. I bet his crew have been a little stressed today. And it really depends on what happens. That's when the front with the rain will hit us so the wind's kind of forecast to be super light and all over the place. We just had some really exciting sailing. We went between the rock and the Barbassi wreck at the Needles. Never been in there before, never been so close. I was a bit nervous, I was calling it. And the boat right next to us, pretty much less than a boat length away, I said, I think he's on the wreck. And we heard a loud bang as he hit it. This section from the Needles to St. Catharines will have tied against. So we need to go into the beach and uh, the wind should be pretty much from a south southwesterly direction so a bit of a reach probably on our code sail oh now we're off we opted for our fractional zero which is a bit of a big call it's kind of reachy but every now and again the wind goes behind hence there's lots of spinnakers ahead but when the breeze fills in we feel good when it goes light we feel rubbish. Up ahead I can see Swell, our competition, they had a really good start and are a ways ahead of us. Can I just show you? Needles. Just there is Swell, 
so we've done really well catching up with them and you can just see ahead there about just under three miles is St Catharines the tide in this bay has just turned in our favour but when we get around St Catharines it will be against us so we're bare away probably peel onto the spinnaker and then be driving in the shallow water until the tide turns. So St Catherine's Lighthouse, halfway around the island and it is just after 11 o'clock so we're ahead of our routing that we thought and there's Henry and Shirley. Hi Swell! They're not waving. So we're all set up to hoist the spinnaker as we bear away at St Catherine's. Next mark is Benbridge Edge. From St Catherine's we next waypoint is Benbridge Ledge and that's pretty much a downwind kite run and the tide will turn here kind of lunchtime-ish depending on when we get there. So we could be enjoying tide under us and downwind jibing to make the mark. Spinnaker's hoisted at St Catherine's. Looks pretty. There's our friends on swell. And just the other side of that red spinnaker, there's a little white spinnaker and that's chilli pepper. So uh, we're making our way smoothly through the fleet. And that's us. We're just pointing about 20 degrees high of Benbridge Ledge. So there will be some jibes. Predicted on our routing, depending on what the weather does and our timings, when we get here to Benbridge Ledge, it, the tide will be against us all the way to the finish. The fort is not part of the course, so we've been looking at how shallow we can go, staying afloat at Ride Sand, and there's an exclusion zone just off Sea View. Um, so we've just been looking at that. Because the tide will be against us, we need to work in the shallow water. And that will be a reach to start with, and then a one-sided beat, depending on what's going on here. Because obviously the wind's gonna travel over the Isle of Wight across this bit, so it could be a little bit shifty. prediction is to finish sometime in the afternoon about three o'clock in time for tier medals let's hope so the end of the 90th anniversary of round the island race 2021 and uh, we're pretty happy with our race chili pepper were finishing ahead of us the 3300 and swell was behind us and um, we didn't make any major errors we used our fractional zero pretty well and overall we're quite happy I think we just have to wait and see the results I felt like we had to duck the entire fleet on one tack as we were heading out to Salem and that's always the case when there's so many boats involved it's quite hard to stay out the way get clear air so um, that's the balance of pure racing and also dealing with extra boats and not everybody knows the rules as well um, so now I've got to pack up sails, pack up the boat and we're sailing back home and it is we finished at 14 46 and 40 seconds so we're happy mm -hmm.